Tommy Retro here with a quick video. It's uh, Friday afternoon, no work today. Got to cool down. It's about 80 degrees, sunny. Finished my chores for today, so time to do a little fun work, work on the buses. I just started taking the vinyl decals off of the uh, 88 International Bluebird. I misplaced my heat gun, not really sure where I used it last, but it's not in its normal spot. But luckily with this full sun today, the uh, side of the bus is getting pretty hot and I'm able to just uh, peel the vinyls right off. So I'm going to go to work on this for a while, get these vinyls off of here and then I'm going to use... Um, just some goo gone if there's any residual residue so far so good and then I'm gonna give the bird a, a nice wash uh, get it cleaned up here so I'm gonna go to work on this for the next while I'll just change positions I'll do the side that's in the Sun now and then uh, I'll just spin the bus around and do the other side so like I said side of the bus is warm to the touch it's probably about a hundred degrees or so but just enough where I can just get behind these vinyls and just get them started and they're pulling off really nice so getting really lucky doesn't look like there's any real fade where the letters are so I should just be able to take care of any additional residue and give it a good wash and I think they'll just go right away So, just going to go through and do the whole bus like this. I'll have to get the 8 foot ladder out to do the stuff up high. The, um, the lettering over the windshield ought to be interesting. So I'll have to figure out a good way to get at that. But uh, as you can see, this is going to go pretty fast. So I'll just sit here and... Uh, crank these letters out as this bus gets a little warmer these decals come off a little nicer so see so kind of worked out it's a nice hot uh, sunny day when I can't find my heat gun otherwise a heat uh, heat gun would really do the trick on this but these are coming off pretty nice so I'll crank on this I'll show you guys the finished product Alright, so three hours later, it's done. The vinyl decals are removed. Uh, did exactly like I said, I just turned the bus into the sun, peeled the decals off, um, then I used the sh uh, whatever side was in the shaded side. I, uh, I first just rinsed the side of the bus, then sprayed it with uh, gel uh, goo gone, kind of let it sit for like 30 seconds. And then, uh, and then used a sponge. I actually used the green side of a sponge. It wasn't very aggressive, so it's not like it was uh, going to scratch it or anything. But I used the green side of a sponge to do my initial adhesive removal. And then the, uh, the yellow side to uh, you know, do the final cleanup. And also when I was doing the final cleanup, you could see... Uh, if there was any residue that you missed. So if I saw that, I just flipped it over and used the green side again. But that method worked really well. You can't even see a trace of the vinyls. I was kind of worried about um, fade showing through. You know, I mean, even though that it's white, um, sometimes you can still see it. And I can't see a thing. It came out really, really nice. So that's the method to use, vinyl decals. Heat them up, peel them off, goo gone in the shade. Make sure you rinse it really good. 
but uh, she came out nice so I'm gonna throw the license plates on take this to the truck wash give the bluebird a bath just want to do a quick video final decal removal on the 1988 bluebird international s1800 have a good rest of your day or night thank you for watching